So, you've come across an injured animal with a fracture and you're all ready for rescue. But before you transport that animal, or if you have to hold them for a few days before getting to the vet, there's one important thing to do. Splint that fracture. Splinting holds the fractured bone in place and prevents further damage. It also reduces the animal's pain considerably. Although the principles are the same for both large and small animals, today we're gonna to teach you how to splint a large animal's fractures. Cut two pieces of bamboo or thin wood to the length of the bone. It should be long enough to touch both the joints nearest to the fracture. If the fracture is in the joint, make it long enough to touch the two joints next to that joint. If the fracture is below the last joint, the splint should be made from the joint above to the floor. Step two, cushion the splint. Use gauze and cotton wrapped around the splints to make them soft and cushioned. Hard, uncushioned pieces can rub against the skin, making any injuries worse. Step three, if the fracture is compound, meaning there's a wound and the bone is sticking out, clean the wound by flushing it with NS. Step four, place the two splints on opposite sides of the leg so that they're even. Try to straighten out the fracture so the leg sits straight in the splints. If there's a wound, don't place long-term splints over it. If the splint is only temporary for transportation to the hospital, for example, you can add extra cushioning over the wound. Step five, wrap the splints in tape to hold them in place. Tape should be set in place snugly, but not pulled taut. Step six, starting at the very bottom, wrap the splints in gauze, overlapping the gauze halfway on the previous wrap. Again, this should be snug enough to hold the splints in place, but not so tight that it cuts off the circulation. Work your way up and down the leg until the entire splint is covered. Now you're ready to transport the animal to the vet. If you get caught unprepared and you don't have gauze and cotton, you can use cloth to cushion the splints and the leg and ropes to hold the splints in place until you can replace them with gauze and cotton. What do you want to learn next? Let us know in the comments. Uh -huh.